Hello, uh, my name is Dong Jin Yun from Korea Polar Research Institute. Uh, from now on, I'm going to introduce our research project, Cooperative Mobile Robot System Technology for Polar Region uh, Development and Exploration. This is content of my presentation. Uh, we are collecting various observation data from, for scientific research in Antarctica. However, we face various difficulties in the data collection due to geographical and environmental limitation. Currently, we are using satellite communication or manual downloading to collect data from various observation equipment. Additionally, equipped maintenance, equipment maintenance is mostly carried out manually by personnel once a year. Furthermore, there are also limitations in the data collection period due to battery capacity. So we have initiated this project to overcome these limitations by establishing an annual continuous monitoring environment using wideband communication networks and mobile robots. This figure shows our entire system operation scenario. There are some location of in interest, and each location has an unmanned small base called the wireless control station, and every wireless control stations are located within a 50 kilometer range each other. And there are some observatories near from wireless control station within a 20 kilometer range. Observatories collect data and transmit them to wireless control station, and then wireless control station tra transmit data to Jangbogo station via other wireless control, control station or direct directly, once a day at least. And finally, they are stored in information system located in Jangbogo station. To maintain this system and explore, explore Antarctic field, we use mobile robot platform. They should also be able to operate in harsh Antarctic environment, and it should be able to control remotely and remotely within a 50 kilometer range from wireless control station. Through this scenario, we Through this scenario, we do three main research contents, observation and information system, robot platform, and communication. To conduct this research project, we need various specialized development ability. So we have established collaboration system with specialized institute. First, COPRI, Korea Polar Research Institute, is in charge of observation and information technology. And next, KIRO, Korea, Kilo, Korea in Institute, Robotic and Technology Convergence, is in charge of mobile robot platform. And last, wide and high speed communication part is handled by KIOST, Korea Institute of Ocean Science and Technology. The detail, the detail objectives of each topic are as follows, and I will provide detailed explanation in respective section. And this is our research roadmap. Each institute has its own roadmap, but the overall, the first and second years are considered phase one, where the focus on, focus is on design of each system and validation of major part. In the third, fourth, and fifth year, we transition, transition to phase two, which involves prototype production, integration testing, field testing, performance validation, and optimization. Our project started in 2021, and now we are in the first year of phase two. In the first section, I will explain the content related to observation and information system technology that are being handled by the COPRI. We have three main research content areas. The first area is involves the development of five types of observation observatory and uh, wireless control station. We are developing five types of observation observatory 
uh, sorry, type of observatories that can collect weather, seismic, GNSS, astronomical, and ecological data. And we also developing a wireless control station that can relay the data collected from the observatories. The second area focuses on developing observation equipment and operational techniques. We are developing equipment that observe and store glacial movement and vibration. And we are also developing an ice penetrating radar to provide information about hidden crevasse to the robot. Additionally, we are developing algorithms to recognize crevasses automatically from the measured radar data. The last research area involves in establishing the extreme cold region data information processing system and a big data processing platform to utilize the collected data. Now I will present some research achievement from phase one. The first one is the development achievement of smart observation system. We have completed the conceptual design and detailed design of five types of observatories. Uh, this is a 3D model of weather observatory obtained through the detailed design process and we have successfully completed the testing of prototype near from Changbo station. And this photo is a prototype of the seal attached biologger, which is a major component of the ecological observatory. To ensure its suitability for the Antarctic environment, we conducted low temperature test. We have also completed the design of the wireless control station and we have produced a prototype and conducted low temperature test. Through this, we were able to cal calculate the capacity of heater to maintain internal temperature constantly. The second section covers the development of mobile robot platform, which is developed by Kiro. The first topic is related to the mechanism of mobile robot platform. The second topic involves the development of sensor required, sensors required for autonomous navigation and remote control of the mobile robot platform. And the third topic contains the technolo technology for operating multiple robots. Through the first phase, we designed and manufactured a prototype of mobile platform and conducted numerous experiments. The experiment was conducted at the ski resort in Korea in winter season, and the temperature was about minus 16 degrees Celsius. We conducted a top speed test and long distance driving test. Uh, the goal of each test test is three, uh, 30 km per hour speed and 100 km distance. Um, we conducted simulate, sim simulated experiments to assess the ability to sustain continuous driving in challenging terrain in the Antarctica rather than the flat surfaces. These experiments include overcome simulated obstacles such as uh, 60 centimeter high step and 40 centimeter wide crevasse. We also conducted research about a multimodal sensor for autonomous navigation. We have completed the design and production of the prototype to test if the multimodal sensor module can sustain reliable operation in the low temperature environment. We monitored data from six types of sensors continuously for over one hour in a minus 40 degree Celsius low temperature freezer. The following is related to autonomous navigation. We conducted experiments to determine if stable crevasse avoidance driving is possible based on crevasse map. The shapes marked with the yellow tape on the road represent virtual crevasse spaces. 
and we conducted driving experiments where the vehicle autonomously returned to the base without any manual in intervention from the, op from the op operator in emergency situations such as communication loss or low battery level. In the final section, I will present the research contents focused on developing long distance communication networks in Antarctica, which is conducted by the KIOST. And uh, there are three types of communication networks that need to be developed. The first one is the wide and high speed communication technology between mobile robots and wireless control station. The second one is IOET communication between observatory and wireless, com com wireless control station. And last one is wireless backhaul, backhaul network between wireless control station and another wireless control, control station. In this topic, first achievement is as following. Uh, we have developed IOET devices, gateways, antenna, and battery, specifically designed to withstand extreme cold environmental condition in Antarctica. This is this is IOET device and, and it has been designed with housing that allow for operation in extreme cold environment. And this is antenna has been designed with a shape that minimizes the so snow accumulation and reduce wind resistant and we conducted antenna gain test in LoRa, Wi-Fi and Zigbee communication environment. The battery features a vacuum sealed enclosure for thermal insulation. We produced a prototype and conducted waterproof vibration impact and drop test. To prepare for the Antarctic field test, we conducted long distance communication test in a similar environment in Korea. Specifically, we performed transmission experiments at the same communication distance, taking into account the distance between the wireless control stations. We measured the signal strength of the communication signals and confirmed that the desired transmission rate was achieved. Additionally, we conducted communication experiments between Jeju Island and Jindo to measure the maximum transmission distance to the long distance communication equipment. We confirmed that communication was possible at a distance of approximately 110 kilometers. As we heard before, I introduced the research conducted in the first phase. In the second phase, the process of actual system configuration remains. First this year, each institute will complete the development of their respective prototypes and conduct, inter and conduct integration tests in Korea first. And first, and after, uh, and after that, we plan to perform initial interworking testing in Antarctica. Additionally, in the first year, we will conduct comprehensive system integration testing, and uh, last year, we will focus on optimization to finalize the development. In conclusion, by carrying out the first phase of our project, we have successfully designed and manufactured prototypes of various components, conducted field, field experiments in similar environments, and achieve the result in, the, in terms of observation equipment, mobile robot platform, autonomous navigation, and long-range communication networks. Based on this result, we intended to carry out the remaining development to meet the technological demand derived from the Antarctic Roadmap Challenge. And lastly, we hope that this technology technological advancement will contribute to the observation of scientific data, enhancing our understanding of Antarctica, while also enabling us to overcome challenges and expand our new challenges. Thank you for attention.